And if you thought the clip trimmer was cool, wait till you see the precision editor. This is a way to fine tune edit point with tremendous precision. And, and genuinely, this is the same as the, the professional editor in Final Cut Pro, uh, where you can really do these fine tuning adjustments. So again, I'm going to go to the same edit here where I've got this because it's a good example. I've got the guy walking up to the painting. Right, and we've got it's a and it's an awkward edit because he starts walking in one and he continues walking in the other, and that's great. That that's what we want to see. We want to cut on action, right? The mo the the best way to hide an edit is to have the camera cut while there's a movement that's the same thing going on in in both shots, and this is sort of what we have. But it's tricky with somebody walking because you need to catch them in the the right place in their walk. So it's very tricky to get this right unless you have a tool like the Precision Editor. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the edit point, and now we get a whole new view in our timeline. And, and take a second to look to take it in, because it's, it's very confusing at first. What you've got is the clips are being alternated. Each clip is alternating on the top or the bottom. And you see how this one is lit up, and this one is lit up, and this is gray, and this is gray. The gray areas are the frames that we're not using. The, the lit up areas or the, the fully visible areas are the frames that we are using. Right, so you can see here's the outgoing shot on the top where he starts to walk. And if we keep looking on the top, you can see what happens. He walks up and he begins painting. In this shot, the, the shot that, that the incoming shot, we call it, he's, we pan over as he's walking over and he walks up and then he moves the painting, grabs it and he hangs it on the wall, right? So these are pretty different actions, and we're trying to find a way to link them together. And so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the frames, uh, and, and I want to show you how to do this, and then I'm going to show you the best way to do this from an editing perspective. First of all, if you just put your cursor over the top, the top edit, you can change the out point of the first clip, right? So I can drag to see more frames in that outgoing clip. And this is exactly the same. I'm just going to close this for a second. It's exactly the same as grabbing this and dragging that, except that you can see the frames that you're doing, like in the clip trimmer, right? So let's go back into the precision editor. So I can drag that, and I can add frames to the top. Now, why is the bottom moving? Because the bottom is still starting on the same frame, right? So it's still going to start exactly there on that funny-looking frame where he's all blurry, um, that's currently what, where we're starting that frame. So I'm going to find the shot on the outgoing shot where he's walking up, but before we can see that brush in his hand, because we don't want to see the brush in his hand. So I'm going to back it up and find, yeah, right about there maybe. That's a good frame where we can see what's going on. Now I'm going to go to the bottom side and adjust this side. And so now what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the, the in point of the incoming clip, right? And I'm choosing a new frame, and I can see in the viewer there, He's walking up to the thing, and I want to see, we're going to try and find this a match. I don't want that blurriness. So I'm going to try and go right past where it gets blurry. Yeah, something like right about there. And then we align that. And again, just to be clear, this is exactly the same, and close this for a second, as grabbing this side here and dragging it like here, except that like in the clip trimmer, you can see the existing frame so you know what you're looking at. Right, again, I'll double click, we go back in there. I can see what additional frames we've got over here, so I, I, it's a little bit more versatile. So it's like having two clip trimmers up at the same time. And then there's another command where you can, what we call roll the edit, where you can just move the edit point itself so it starts earlier or later, and basically you're trimming one clip at the same time as trimming the other clip. We're, we're adding frames to the first clip and taking them away from the second clip, or we're adding frames to the first to the second clip and taking them away from the first clip, right? So again, just to be clear, if we drag up at the top, we're only changing the top clip. If we drag at the bottom, we're only changing the bottom clip. If we drag in the middle, we're changing both clips. This is called rippling the outgoing shot. This is called rippling the incoming shot. And this is called rolling the edit. The names are not important. I don't want you to get hung up on keeping track of the names. But it is, it is an important concept to understand that when you're rippling, you're adding frames to one of the two shots. And so you're making your whole movie longer or shorter. By making this shorter, you know, we're making the whole movie shorter. Or dragging it this way, we're making the whole movie longer. And similarly down here, if I add frames, the whole movie is getting longer. And if I drag it over here, the whole movie is getting shorter. But if I drag in the middle, this is now 
uh, only the, the movie's not getting any longer. We're taking away one frame on the top for every frame we, we add on the bottom. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, the, this is a tremendous amount of power, and it allows you to do all these different things at the same time, which is pretty useful. But I'm gonna next, in the next tutorial, I'm going to try and show you the way I recommend using the precision trimmer.